Next B is one of the most promising exoplanets that has been discovered. It is nearly the same size as Earth and is located in the habitable zone of its star. However, its dark side is always hidden from our telescopes. In May 2021, researchers published a study speculating the existence of artificial lights on the dark side of Next B, which could be detected by the James Webb Telescope. In today's video, we will discuss this study and what the telescope has already discovered. But before watching the video, subscribe to the channel, click the notification bell, and leave your like and comment at the end of the video. The James Webb Space Telescope is an infrared space observatory launched on December 25, 2021, by NASA in collaboration with the European Space Agency and the Canadian Space Agency. It reached its destination on January 24, 2022, after traveling nearly 1.5 million kilometers. The initial plans for the telescope, then called the Next Generation Space Telescope, began in 1996. Two conceptual studies were commissioned in 1999 for a possible launch in 2007, with a budget of $1 billion. The program experienced delays and underwent a major overhaul in 2005, leading to the final project, which was completed in 2016. However, the final cost escalated to $10 billion. The first images were officially released by NASA during a live event on July 12, 2022. These images included the cosmic cliffs of the Carina Nebula, the impressive Southern Ring Nebula, the Quintet of Stefan, and an analysis of the atmospheric composition of the gas giant exoplanet called WASP-96b. Fortunately, the Hubble Space Telescope remains in good condition despite being in service for over 30 years. It is likely that the two telescopes will work together, at least in the early years of the James Webb. The two telescopes have different capabilities. While Hubble observes the cosmos primarily in optical and ultraviolet wavelengths, the James Webb observes in infrared. Another major difference is their orbits. Hubble orbits the Earth, while the James Webb orbits the Sun. This poses a risk for the James Webb because if it experiences any structural problems, it cannot be repaired as it is out of reach of any human-designed spacecraft. Its loss would be permanent, unlike Hubble, which has been accessed and serviced by space shuttle missions. Among the catalogued exoplanets, Next Centauri b, or simply Proxima b, is one of the most Earth-like. It orbits Proxima Centauri, a red dwarf star that is much smaller and cooler than our Sun due to emitting less heat, its planets can orbit close to it and still be in the habitable zone of the star. Proxima b is tidally locked, which means one side of the planet is always facing the star, and the other side is always facing space. This phenomenon is not uncommon, although it does not occur with planets in our solar system. We see something similar with our moon, where one side is always facing us and the dark side is always facing space. Astronomers believe that tidal locking of exoplanets could have implications for the planet's climate, potentially making the hot side cooler and more hospitable for life. The side of the planet facing the star is called the day side because it is perpetually in daylight, while the other side is called the night side. About a decade ago, Physicist Abraham Loeb attended the opening of New York University's campus in Abu Dhabi. During a sightseeing tour, the local guide boasted that the lights of the city could be seen from the moon. This prompted Loeb to wonder how far the Hubble telescope could detect city lights from a planet. He performed the calculations and found that the telescope could detect city lights, such as those from Tokyo on objects in the Kuiper belt that are 30 to 50 times farther away from the sun than Earth is. This raised a new question, would it be possible to distinguish artificial lights from the natural reflection of sunlight? On May 17, 2021, in conjunction with physicist Jan Tauber, Loeb published a study discussing the exoplanet Proxima b, located 4.25 light-years away. The planet is 20 times closer to its faint star than Earth is to the Sun. Since Proxima b is tidally locked, 
with one side permanently facing the star and the other side permanently facing away, a technologically advanced civilization on Proxima b would likely transfer heat and electricity from the hot, illuminated day side to the cold, dark night side. This could be achieved, for example, by covering the day side with photovoltaic cells that generate electricity from starlight. Such a covering of solar panels could be detected by telescopes analyzing the spectral signature. In the same study, the authors suggest that if the night side of Proxima b is illuminated by artificial light, it could be detected by the James Webb Telescope, as it is larger and more sensitive than Hubble. The calculations showed that the James Webb Telescope would be able to detect the light from LED lamps, even if it represented only 5% of the starlight on the day side. However, for the detection to be possible, the artificial lighting would need to be limited to a frequency range a thousand times narrower than starlight. The objectives of the James Webb mission include examining the first light in the universe and celestial objects that formed shortly after the Big Bang, investigating how galaxies form and evolve, capturing images of planets in our own solar system, locating evidence of dark matter, and studying the atmospheres of distant exoplanets. For this last item, NASA received over a thousand research proposals from astronomers worldwide and selected 68. However, Proxima b was not among them. The James Webb Telescope initially has an expected lifespan of five years, but NASA technicians believe it could be extended to double that time. Even if it is not chosen in a future selection, there is an alternative to confirm the theory. The new AR, Optical Infrared Ultraviolet Long Range Explorer, is scheduled for launch and will be equipped with state-of-the-art, upgradable instruments. It will be stationed at the Sun-Earth L2 point, the same point where the current telescope is located. The wide range of capabilities of the new AR will be able to detect even fainter levels of artificial lighting, should a distant civilization exist on the night side of Proxima b. So, it may indeed be possible to detect artificial lights on other planets. Share your opinion in the comments below. Your input is greatly appreciated. Thank you for watching our video until the end. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel, click the notification bell, leave your comment below, and sending you a warm embrace until the next video.